Hey, all viewers and viewers, my name is General Red Strategist, and welcome back to So You're Being Hunted. This is episode 106 now. So, as you remember, in the last episode, we were clearing out more buildings as part of our Literature Hunt Challenge, and I came across a load in the distance, a village called Nimby Cove, which I wasn't terribly sure whether I had cleared out or not. I reviewed my uh, footage for the previous episodes, as I said I would, and I'm pretty certain that I definitely haven't cleared out any of those buildings. So we're going to go over there with my 205 reserve revolver ammo, bullets, things, shots. And we're going to check this, uh, these remaining buildings out. I'm assuming these have got to be the final buildings. So we could possibly get this challenge complete in this episode. But who knows? It just depends on whether the robots decide to interrupt me or not. That is a memorial. I wonder. Victims of the marmalade famine, that's quite a lot of them. So many that they're going over the uh, clothes icon. Jeez. I always wondered, like, with the names on those uh, memorial stones, are they, um, were they, like, stop saying like, were they uh, donors? People who backed the game or something? Sponsors? I ain't sure. Hello, Poacher. What are you up to? Freak. How much uh, space do I have in my inventory? None. Okay. <laughs> Gonna need to do something about that. Um, I did check the shed out. I did check the telephone box out. The landowner is just off in the distance over there, moving away. There are hunters around here. Which is going to make things a tad difficult. But no matter. We will just have to deal with them. Okay, I remember that tank over there. So we definitely need to clear this village out. Did we? Wait a minute. Oh shit. Jesus, there are loads of friggin' buildings. I don't... I don't remember any of... Oh man. <laughs> Bloody hell. Did I check this tank out? I can't remember. Did I check that cottage out? I can't remember. Um... <laughs> Oh, bloody hell. Well, just to be on the safe side. We'll check this out. Ooh, careful. Not the rider. Uh, where's the barrel? There it is. Here, come here. Come hither. Come. Can I not... Oh, there we go. <laughs> I'm sort of in mid-air a bit here. Uh, let's just quickly... Use, please. There we go. Uh, should I take a map? Comes with pen for marking. Wait, is that a new feature? Something I've never known about? Screw it. We're getting rid of that clock. We're taking the map. There we are. Can I put the map in? Oh, no, 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 no. I use it from here, don't I? Okay. Um, so that's the entire layout of the island. Jetty's back there. Where I'm indicating with my uh, cursor right now, those must be the houses where the landowner was before. I think? Possibly? Or were they down here? God, I don't know. I need to... <laughs> need to get my act together here. Not doing well for remembering directions or anything. Okay, I'm starting to think that at this rate... Whoa, hello. Horse is rearing up. I was saying, I'm starting to think at this rate that um, this challenge is possibly now going to go on for an extra couple of episodes. At least there's more dynamite. I definitely haven't checked this building out, have I? Oh, I feel like I want to dump something, but I don't want to... I might just get rid of the torch, just because I've never really used it that much. No. Actually, no. Keep it. Ah, bloody hell. It's all this reserve ammo. I need to use some of it up. There's a scarecrow in there I could kill. I could maybe do that. What's that over there? That's just a wall. Okay. Yeah, fudge it. I think we'll probably use up some revolver ammo on this friggin' Stupid ass scarecrow. And if other robots come, we'll just slaughter them. Come on, you. You're going down. Yeah, they're all coming. <laughs> right, you. There we go. He's down. Oh, he does have a book. A set of books, even. Um, uh, he. Is that fucking rider coming? Probably. Having said that, I don't think the other enemies are really approaching. What's in this book, then? 
The golden apple, prototype 17, planted the three golden apples in his garden. Instantly a great tree bearing similar clockwork fruit sprang up. This tree caused all the district to produce an exuberance of robotic crops and fruits, so it became as fertile and plentiful as the dominions of the golems. In consequence of the extraordinary powers possessed by the golden fruit, the automatic hound and the anti-gravity steed were of the utmost utility to him, and his reign was long and prosperous, and celebrated among the old bots for the great abundance of nuts, bolts, data, tax breaks, and fish that prevailed during this happy reign. Okay. Sounds like maybe uh, he's talking about... They're talking about when the robots ruled. Something like that. Shall I carry that with me? I think I might do, actually. Uh, come here. Come here. Come hither. Uh, a spooky pumpkin. Yeah. Don't need that. I've got a haggis. Okay, so that killed off that scarecrow. Scarecrows might be the good ones to actually kill off, come to think of it, because they usually do have books actually on them, interestingly. There's the balloon up there. Oh. I heard you, landowner. Where are you? You're off in that direction somewhere. Okay. Oh, the balloon is coming. The balloon is coming, everybody. The balloon is coming. Don't know why I'm doing a German accent. Just feel like it. Okay, we looped around that. Okay, yeah, that looks like the houses over there, which I explored before. Yeah, these two down here. Okay, so these three big splotches up here that I'm circling around, they must be the farmsteads and the pub, come to think of it. Now that I put my mind to it and think properly. So that means there's definitely a load of villages here that I have not actually searched. I could put a marker on the map, couldn't I? Mm, use mouse one to place markers. Oh god, okay. Oh, there we are, right. Yeah, go on, let's drop a marker there. So that puts it on the compass. Right. So that should be good. So we keep marker one on there. That's going to be helpful, hopefully. Oh yeah, there's the uh, old priory over there. We've investigated that. Yeah, fudge. Should we take down the uh, squire? <laughs> Shit. That was a bad idea. <laughs> Freaking rider's probably coming now. Oh, here he comes. Oh god, there is actually a dog somewhere. Just hide, dead quickly. Oh. Wait. There we go, took out that dog. Oh god, there's another one. Oh shit. Fuck. Well, friggin' landowner spotted me. <laughs> this has not gone well, has it? Oh, I hear you, you freaky bastard. Oh boy, look at him. Here he comes. Getting all angry, aren't you, buddy? Look at you. <laughs> Jeez. He is a creepy fucker. Of course, Hunter's over there. There's a squire coming as well. There's another scarecrow. Yeah, there's another scarecrow there. Look at that. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, fuck. I think it is actually the landowner who is attracting their attention by making noises. Yeah, they're going towards the landowner. That ain't good. <laughs> yeah. See, look. They're, like, congregating around his heels. Look at them. A bunch of assholes. Seriously. Good God. Right, well, we're going to need to, obviously, get back to the jetty now. Flicker back to another island. And then return here. So we can get him off our tail. What a pro I am, eh? What a flipping pro. <laughs> so I just thought I took out that hound, you know. Destroy it. And I'll be fine. I didn't realise it was one of the uh, landowner's hounds. So naturally there was a second hound, and there was a landowner. I'm also a bit of an idiot for thinking I could do that whilst there was a rider close by. My bad. My very bad. I feel like just killing this squire. Take out my frustration. Nope. Yeah. No, you don't, buddy. I'm going to shoot first. Like that. <laughs> oh, boy. 
There we go, just take that. Eat some mints, there we go. Eat the blackberries as well, there we are. Lovely. Lovely. Lovely jubbly. Where's that landowner? I can still hear him thumpy thumping in the background. Uh, we better move to another island. Let's get out of here. Okay. I'm just trying to use up some of my bullets. Make some, you know, make some more inventory space. There's obviously so many items I want to try picking up. Especially the books and letters and things. But I just don't have much space on me. I just don't have much space on my personage. Well, let's go. Okay, here. Save progress. Take boat north. Let's have a sip of tea whilst I'm at this. Ah, there we are. Just to gross out all the people who love hearing drinking and eating noises. I've actually ever eaten on microphone for quite a while. I mean, that's a, that's a good thing, obviously. You know, stupid thing to do, really. Eat on your microphone. Sounds terrible. Drinking is generally okay, as long as you don't slurp. Which I sometimes do. I am sometimes guilty of doing that. Okay, here we are. We're back again. Right, so now that everyone on this island should have settled down a bit, it's time to get cracking on. I've already lost track of how long I've been recording for. Probably about 10 minutes, I would think. Possibly. Ah, I don't know. 10, 15 minutes, something like that. We'll keep going for a little bit longer just yet. So we need to go over here, back towards where Nimby Cove was. Take out any robots who we see en route to get some inventory space. But, uh, yeah, I, oh, I have three inventory spaces, okay. That's pretty good. Let's just do that there, shall we? No. No, let's do that. Yeah, that's better. Okay. <laughs> Me nitpicking. Oh, boy. Hear robots over there, by the sound of it. I have checked out over there. I know I have. So we don't need to go over there, then. Okay, no. Now we're going to use our torch. Oh, shut up, hounds. Be quiet. You blasted hounds. Okay, so... Hmm. All well, the robots have definitely reset. Right, here we are. Nimby Cove. Oh, there's a hunter up there. Scratch what I said about the hunters resetting. They're still around here. God, is there no lanterns or anything around here? Something I can use to light the place up. Shut up round there. Oh god, there's a pound as well somewhere. Oh, where? Oh, you're round there. Yeah, shit, Ryder's here as well. Get this between me and him. He's going to be potentially problematic, that Ryder. I'm not sure I like his presence. Maybe we should take him out. I don't know, perhaps? Ooh, you come back with no. Where are you going? I wonder if you have like a set patrol route or something. Yeah, probably not then. Okay. Oh, the robots actually seem to have disappeared from here. It's pretty good. I should be keeping an eye out in case the balloon suddenly appears. Um, right. In case the balloon is coming. You know, as it does. Uh, this needs a back door, this one, doesn't it? Not needs, has rather. Okay, nothing there. What about the uh, door on this building? One needs to be careful around here. Who's there? Oh, be ooh. One down. Two down. Look at that, expert shooting. Oh, where's that dog? I hear the dog. Oh, another hunter there. But he's got his back to me, that's okay. Okay, you guys just move off. You know, just just go do your own thing. Oh, well, that was grass. I thought there was something else then. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, dynamite. Hello. I will take that. I'll take your dynamite. And I'll take my... that Not my. Uh, that revolver ammo. And once again, my inventory is full. Balls. Who be round here, then? Yeah, you've got nothing. Yeah, you've got nothing. Where are you? Oh, there you are, behind the tree. Oh, noisy. Just move down here. Out of the way. There is the door. There it is. Ah, there's nothing there. Oh, that dog's close. 
Wherever it is, it's close. Uh, stop. Uh, nothing. Around the back. Come on. Oh, God, there's a rabbit. For a second I thought it was a dog or something. Oh, for a second I thought it was a dog. Gas, gas cylinder there. Huh. Okay. Where's that dog? It's knocking around somewhere. The rider's coming back again. He must definitely be on some kind of patrol route. Ooh, hello. There you are. Oh, boy. Oh. Dangerous area. Oh, we've got a letter. Um, bollocks. Eat. Haggis. Take. Letter. Jesus. Oh, where are they? Ooh, hello. Okay, tell you what, I'm going to run back to the jetty. Because this is a dangerous area. Too many enemies around here. Unless we could take out the rider. I don't know. Don't want to do that, actually. Okay, just stay still. Let him pass. There we are. Let's get back to the jetty and let's read our spoils. Shall we? Shall we, viewers and viewers? Should we do that? I think we shall. Because why the hell not? Unless we do it here. This is nice and quiet here, actually. Let's read it here. What have we got? Letter 13. Dear Dr. Hodgman, I now know that you are not mad. I have seen with my own eyes the things which you claim must be possible. I am no fool, however, and I am certain that I will not be able to convince the authorities of your sanity without solid evidence. I am no scientist. That should say scientist. It says scientists for some reason, of course. But perhaps I could carry out the experiments as per your instructions and then write again to you with the data gathered. I am keen that the world should know of the danger these ancient monuments pose. If I can serve your noble quest in any way, then I will do so. Please instruct me accordingly. Barmstick. Okay, that's definitely storyline related. Because, um, yeah, that's actually telling something in relation to the storyline. Because it's these main characters again, Hodgman and Barmstick. Yeah. Damn. Sweet, so we did find something useful there. Plus, obviously, an interesting book. So, a couple of nice pieces of literature. That was good. That was very, very good. Uh, but, obviously, I think it's time to wrap this episode up now. So, yeah. Uh, so, this was episode 106 of Zoya Being Hunted with me, John Red Strategist, continuing the literature hunt challenge. Um, yeah, this is definitely going to go on for at least one more episode. Possibly two. I don't know, depending on the strength of the robot presence around here. Because we've still got so many buildings to clear out, it seems. But we'll do that uh, soon. I'm going to go to the jetty, I'm going to save my game, and I'll wrap up. I think I might actually just start recording episode 107 straight after this. <laughs> feels like. Feels like I should do that. Pro probably. So yeah, uh, tell you what then, join me for episode 107 when I get around to doing that. And in the meantime, this is General Red signing off. Goodbye. Whoa, Jesus Christ. Holy shit. Fucking hell! Bloody hell, that did like a million damage! This better not be a- Whoa! Shit! No! Oh my fucking god! How many- What? Holy shit!